Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist in the description of this video. Today we're going to be looking at the wall command, which is a very useful command uh, for if you have a multi-user system, you have a lot of people working in the shell. It basically allows you to broadcast a message to every user on the system. So wherever they are, you know, if they're in the shell, all the shells will get uh, this message. It's also a great way to notify yourself. Um, you know, you can write a script that monitors something, which we'll get to in the next video, and send yourself a message. So you have something running in one shell that's on another screen, another you know desktop, or even running in the background. And when it's done, or if a file gets changed or something, you get the message, whatever shell you're in. And if you work in the shell a lot, that's very useful. Uh, so it's going to be installed on your system by default on pretty much every system I've ever been on. It's just the wall command, and I can type wall, you know, hello world. And there it says, you know, uh, as a broadcast message from it tells you who it was from, you know, what uh, shell uh, it was sent from, and when it was sent, and then the message. So let me go ahead, and I'm just going to split my screen here. I'm going to open up a bunch of, uh, of windows, you know, shell windows here. So these are all different. Could be on a different monitor. You could be SSH'd in and be working on one of these. And I could be here, and I can be like, oh, hey, I just want to hear whatever message. Uh, wall lunchtime pizza in break room <laughs> and there everybody got that message so if I'm in this shell here you know he says oh you know Metal X 1000 you know he said that you know it's lunchtime it's time to go have some lunch uh, so you can see it went to all these different shells and so just as an ex another example I'm gonna here I'm gonna I can say the same thing but obviously I can uh, put the output of a command in there. I'm trying to think of a good example. I'm just going to say free. Uh, so this is just an example. So I'll do that and I'll put the that command to everyone's window. You know, uh, you wouldn't pipe that particular command to everyone's window. Uh, but if you wanted to, if you have a program running, you can have it. You know, send you stuff like that. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to show you. You can say sleep, and I'm going to give you a better example of this. Uh, in the next tutorial where we're going to go over monitoring files and directories for modification and changes and so that way if you're monitoring a, a file or a folder either waiting for something to happen to them or you suspect maybe someone's modifying a file they shouldn't you can get a notification right away um, using this I'm going to say sleep five seconds and here I'll just do <coughs> I won't do a command I'll just say hey buddy so that's running. I'll be in this shell here, clear the screen, and boop, after five seconds, I got that message. So very useful. It doesn't, it, it might mess up, you know, it doesn't mess up the programs you're running, but obviously it's kind of annoying uh, if someone was working. Like if I was in Vim and I was, you know, typing something out like this, let me real quick go back up here, wait five seconds. Oops. And again, I'm working here. Yeah, you, know, you know, that message kind of got in my way, but it just kind of clears out. It doesn't actually interfere with what you're running, other than it's kind of, it might cover up what you're looking at. So, use it sparingly if you're on a multi-user system, don't bug people. Um, but again, I mainly would use this to notify myself when a process is done, or if a file is modified, or something where I just want to know, no matter what shell I'm in, when something happens, it's mainly sending messages to myself, but it's, it's, it's originally designed to broadcast stuff to all the users on a system. So, I hope you did find this useful. It, uh, I probably did a tutorial on this 10 years ago. It's a very useful command, uh, and uh, we're going to go again into more detail, give you a more uh, practical use for it in the next video. So be sure to stick around for that as we monitor files and folders for modifications and get notified when something happens. Be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There's a link in the description of the video there. You can search through all my videos. You can search through all my notes and scripts under the, uh, I, th I think the section is called scripts. You go there and I have a little interface where you can search through them. Uh, that's not the fastest interface. I do need to improve on that. <laughs> I'll even do a video about it probably, talking about how Horribly, I designed it because I just kind of threw it together. Uh, but it works well uh, and well enough, good enough for now. Uh, but there you can also go to my support section. 
where you can support me through PayPal and Patreon.com forward slash MailX1000. I appreciate support like that, but also like, share, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. I love that you watch my videos. I hope you share it with others. Look forward to seeing you. Seeing you? Look forward to having you watch my videos uh, again soon. I'll have another one in a couple days. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.